now, your Central Coast forecast from KSBW Weather. Good evening, I'm Jonathan Bass in for Lee Solomon. We'll start with a look at our high temperatures today. Pretty tight range today from 59 up to 68 degrees. 58 was the high in Ben Lomond, a 63 in Santa Cruz, 67 in Big Sur, and 66 in King City. Infrared satellite imagery over the state reveals just a few cumulus clouds over the Sierra, otherwise clear conditions across the state under offshore winds today. Temperatures right now across the state, 50s for most of the state with a 54 in Fresno and 52 in Bakersfield, some 60s in Southern California, 64 still in Palm Springs, Lake Tahoe, a chilly 25 degrees at this time. Forecast lows tonight, Lake Tahoe is dropping to 10 degrees. We'll have a 36 in Sacramento and then 40s across Southern California with a 41, the expected high for Santa Barbara and 40 low and 47 for Los Angeles and San Diego. Highs tomorrow across the state, 60s in the northern part of the state and 70s in the southern part of the state. Basically 60s all up and down the Central Valley, 55 degrees in Eureka tomorrow. Water vapor imagery reveals a dry air mass directly overhead. We've got more no uh, moisture off to our northeast. We've got our jet stream here and then beyond that on the far uh, upper left corner of your screen, we do have a storm system. As we go into our visible satellite imagery, we can see the moisture feed into this storm system as we've got these clouds over the ocean moving up from the south. So looking at our future cast, here's that ridge that we're under, that dry air mass. There's that storm system well off to our northwest. For tomorrow and Saturday, we're going to continue under this ridge. Notice that the colors start to brighten up. They become a little more green and yellow as we heat up a degree or two for tomorrow, Saturday, and Sunday. Late Sunday into Monday, we do have this cooler air mass approaching, so that'll change our conditions just a little bit. So we've got these clear conditions for tomorrow. Our offshore winds lighten up tomorrow, but we'll continue with sunny conditions both tomorrow, Saturday, and all the way into Sunday. Late Sunday into Monday, as that cooler air mass uh, approaches from the northwest, that'll allow some high clouds to drift over our area on Monday. So we'll have a little bit more cloud cover Monday as that cold front passes by to our north. For tonight, 30 to 44 is your temperature range. Winds will remain light, will be clear, and we can expect frost in several locations after midnight, especially in our valleys where just about everybody's dropping into the 30 degree range. We'll have a 34 as the low in Gilroy and Hollister and a 30 in King City. But notice, even on the coastline, we've got places like Watsonville and Salinas that are getting close enough to the freezing mark that you may say, see frost developing on car windows and such. For tomorrow, 61 to 67, a really tight temperature range tomorrow. Very, very similar to today in terms of temperature. Sunny, winds remaining light tomorrow. Here's a look at some of our highs around the San Francisco Bay. We're looking at low to mid 60s. And in the Santa Cruz area, low 60s to mid 60s as well with a 66 for Santa Cruz. Inland, very close in temperature no matter where you are, basically 64 to 66 degrees as we head into the Salinas Valley. Similar again, 66 for King City, a 65 for Salinas, and then low to mid 60s around the Monterey Peninsula tomorrow with a 64 forecast for Carmel. KSBW, eight day forecast over the next three days. We see some very subtle warming, then temperatures up and down just a bit, holding up onto sunshine all week, overnight lows, 30s and 40s throughout the week, so we've got that potential for frost each night this week as we remain under cool air and clear skies.